Okay, you're watching section 6-4, um, measurement. We're changing customary units today. Remember, our customary units are the units that we're using in the United States on a daily basis. Okay, so they are include um, three different measurements, length, weight, and capacity. So we measure our length in inches, in feet, in yards and in miles. Okay, and these are the, the conversions that we're going to be using. Um, we don't expect you to memorize these conversions. On I-STEP, they actually give you an I-STEP sheet with all the conversions on them. Um, but you need to make sure you understand how to use them. Okay, for weight, we use ounces, pounds, and tons. And for capacity, we use fluid ounces. So make sure you're paying attention to whether you're using fluid ounces or regular ounces here. Okay, fluid ounces cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Okay, now things you need to pay attention to. One foot equals 12 inches, so feet are larger than inches. One yard equals three feet, so yards are larger than feet. One mile equals 5,280 feet, so miles are larger than feet. They are also larger than yards. Okay, 16 ounces equals one pound, so one pound is going to be larger than an ounce. 2,000 pounds equals one ton, so one ton is going to be larger than a pound. Okay, eight fluid ounces equals one cup, so one fluid ounce will be smaller than one cup. One pint equals two cups, so one cup is smaller than one pint. Two pints equals one quart, so one quart will be smaller than one pint. And four quarts equals one gallon. So one gallon is going to be larger than one quart. The reason we want to know what, what unit is bigger is because when we do our conversion, when you go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, You're going to use these conversions over here, and you are actually going to multiply. Okay, when you go from a smaller unit, for example, when you go from um, feet, a smaller unit to miles, so smaller unit to a larger unit, you are going to divide. Now, what you are multiplying and dividing has to do with these conversions over on the side. So these are what we call conversions. Um, you're going to be using these conversions in order to figure out what you're going to multiply and divide by. Okay, so this is something you need to make sure you're looking at and have out the entire time. So please make sure you write this information down. Okay, so it says convert two miles into feet. So a lot of times you'll see it written like this, two miles equals blank number of feet. Okay, what you need to decide is which unit is larger. So is one mile larger or one foot? Okay, hopefully you know that the miles are larger, the feet are smaller. So I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. Okay, to figure out what you're going to use as far as your conversion, you're going to go back and find the conversion between miles and feet. Okay, so we're going to find miles and feet, which would be right here. One mile equals 5,280 feet. So I'm going to write that down. One mile equals two or 5,280 feet. Now when we go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we said we are going to multiply the larger unit times the smaller unit. Okay, larger to smaller, you're going to multiply. Okay, and what are you multiplying? Well, you're multiplying this two here because that's part of the that part of the problem, and you're multiplying it by the non or the number that is not a one. So the only number that's not a one in your conversion is what you're multiplying or dividing by. But since I'm going from a larger to a smaller, I'm going to multiply by 5,280. So you're going to multiply once again by the number that's not a one, and there's going to be one number that's a one in the conversion and one number that's not a one. So I'm taking two and I'm multiplying it by 5,280. Now you are allowed to use your calculator, so please do. I don't want you to try to make any goofy mistakes. So two times 5,280 
oops, I just messed up, is 10,560. So in two miles, there are 10,560 feet, and that is my answer. So once again, large to small, you multiply. What you are multiplying is the number from your conversion, from your problem, and also the number from the um, conversion between miles and feet. That is not a 1. Okay? So now we're going to convert 11 cups to pints. So I'm going to write out 11 cups equals how many pints. Okay? Now a cup is actually smaller than a pint. So now I'm going smaller to a larger unit, which means I'm going to divide. So in order to figure out what I'm going to divide, I know I'm taking my 11, and I'm going to divide it by the conversion between cups and pints. So we're going to go all the way back to our conversion chart. Cups and pints are right here. One pint equals two cups. So one pint equals two cups. So once again, you're taking the 11, and this time we're dividing because we're going from smaller to larger, and you're dividing by the number that's not a 1, which would be the number 2. So 11 divided by 2 is going to be 5.5 or 5.5. So 11 cups equals 5.5 or 5.5 pints. Okay? Three pounds equals how many ounces? So I'm going to find my conversion between pounds and ounces. Okay, so here's pounds and here's ounces. One pound equals 16, equals 16 ounces. Okay, now we have to figure out if we're going from smaller to larger or larger to smaller. Well, we know a pound is larger than an ounce, so I'm going from large to small, meaning I'm going to multiply. And what you are multiplying, you're multiplying your number from the conversion, which is 3, times the non, the number that's not a 1 from your conversion from pounds to ounces, which is 16. So 3 times 16 equals 48. So there, in 3 pounds, there are 48 ounces. And that is your answer. Okay, now I have 5 and 1 -third yards equals how many feet? So from my conversion, I know one yard, and I have this one memorized. One yard equals three feet. Okay, now we decide if we're multiplying or dividing. So a yard is larger than a foot, so I'm going from large to small, meaning I'm going to multiply. And I'm taking five and one-third, and I'm multiplying it by three. Now this is a repeating decimal, so please do not change it to a decimal. I want you to take five and one-third times three which means I'm going to change this to uh, improper fraction. So 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16 thirds, and I'm going to multiply it by 3. Once again, I'm taking the number from the conversion, 5 and 1 third, and I'm multiplying it by the, non or the number that's not a 1 in the conversion. Okay? I know when I multiply two fractions, I can cross-reduce, so I'm going to do that and divide these by 3, leaving me with 1. So 16 times 1 is 16, 1 times 1 is 1, which reduces to 16. So in 5 and 1 -third yards, there are 16 feet. Okay? 3 fourths of a ton equals how many pounds? So I'm going once again from large to small, meaning I'm going to multiply. And I'm going to take 3 fourths times my conversion from tons to pounds. Well, 1 ton is going to equal 2,000 pounds. Okay, so I'm going to take 3 fourths and I'm going to multiply it by the number that's not a 1, which is 2,000. Okay, you can change this to decimal if you want, and 3 fourths is 0.75 times, my pen's being goofy again, times 2,000. Or you can use the fact that this is a fraction. Okay, and I can divide this by 4. So that would be leave me with a 1 here. 2,000 divided by 4 um, is going to be 500. Okay, so I can do that as well. And then multiply across. 
Okay, either way is fine. You're going to get the same thing. So 3 times 500 is 1,500 over 1. 0.75 times 2,000 is 1,500. Okay, so in 3 fourths of a ton, there are 1,500 or 1,500 pounds. And I'm going from inches to feet. So I know an inch is smaller than a foot. So I'm going from small to large. So I'm going to divide. And in one foot, there are 12 inches. So I'm going to take my 18, and I'm going to divide it by 12. OK, so I can plug that into my calculator. 18 divided by 12 is 1.5, or 1 and a half. OK, once again, I'm taking the 18 divided by the number that's not a 1 in the problem, and I get put 1.5. Um, notice that you cannot take 12 divided by 18. You'll get a different number. So you're always taking the number from the problem and dividing it by the number from the actual conversion from feet to inches. OK, so keep that order in mind. Ava walks at a speed of 7 feet per second. How many feet per hour is this? So I'm going from 7 feet per 1 second. And I want to convert this to how many feet per 1 hour. Well, they need to figure out how many seconds are in an hour. OK, so there are 60 seconds in one minute. And there are 60 minutes in one hour. OK, so if there's 60 seconds per one minute, I'm going to convert 60 seconds. Oops, I'm sorry. Doing this wrong. To my minute. So I know 60 seconds in one minute. And there is 60 minutes in one hour. So I'm going to take my 60 times 60 to figure out how many seconds are in one hour. And that is 3,600 seconds. So in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. OK, and once again, if we take 60 times 60, that's how we get 3,600. So if I want to convert my 7 feet and I want to know how many feet I'm going in one hour, I know, and I'm going to rewrite this in green over here, that um, 7 feet per 1 second is going to convert my seconds to 3,600 seconds. So I'm going to take 3,600, that's how I converted my denominator here, my rate, and I'm going to multiply this by 3,600 as well. So 7 times 3,600 is 25,200 feet. Okay, so once again, let's review this. So this is given from the problem, and I know I want to um, change my feet per second to feet per hour, so I have to figure out how many seconds are in an hour. Since there are 60 seconds in one minute, in 60 minutes in one hour, I want to figure out how many seconds are in one hour. So I'm going to take 60 times 60 to figure out how many seconds are in one hour. That's 3,600 seconds per one hour. And then I'm converting one second to 3,600 seconds because that is the same as one hour. And that's going to give me my answer per hour. So I know if I take 1 times 3,600, I'm going to get 3,600. Whatever I do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So 7 times 3,600 is 25,200 feet. So the answer is Ava walks 25,200 feet per second. I'm sorry, per hour. OK? As always, if you have questions for Mr. Kohlinger or myself tomorrow, please ask. Um, if there's certain problems that you wanted to see done on the board again, you are, we're going to teach it again. So please make sure you're paying attention. Okay, thanks for watching.